After a very well performed Hungarian Grand Prix, Mercedes fans are raising the expectation bar, aiming to win some races with only 9 races left for the 2022 Formula 1 season. Mercedes did pass a very long way understanding the cause's characteristic and made a huge progress correcting its flaws. But Lewis Hamilton and his teammate George Russell weren't until now able to win a single race. Even though their statement looked more positive than their team boss, who's in the other side doesn't see his team winning races anytime soon. Even with the car upgrades package they have been introducing every time, Wolf went further sending a warning to the team's driver Hamilton and Russell ahead of the Belgian Grand Prix this weekend. What is it about? We will be revealing for you the newly released news about Total Wolf's statement and what is the story behind the warning just before the race at Spa Francorchamps. Don't go nowhere, keep on watching guys, subscribe to our channel for great Formula 1 content. So after losing their chance of racing for the title earlier this season, Mercedes clearly took it as a lesson and started the journey of understanding the new car version with the new regulations the FIA imposed for the 2022 season. This year's car concept changes were made in order to reduce dirty air produced by the old generation of Formula 1 cars. The Formula 1 governing body decided after several technical studies to introduce a new aerodynamic concept for the 2022. Changes in the car's conception and design were made for a better performance. The front wing became simpler, having wing flaps that stretch all the way to the nose and the rear wing design was made in a way to help pushing the aerodynamic wake up and over the car following behind, with a fairly flat floor and deep underfloor tunnels to produce downforce through a ground effect. Toto Wolff, who literally struggled this year managing the porpoising issue, admitted during several occasions that he with his technical staff and team engineers are still collecting data in order to understand more about this year's concept and improve the W13. The team clearly devoted the resting time to take notes and apply theories to see if it works out for the coming season. There is not a lot that really went so well. If you can see that our expectation was to fight for the World Championship, but we need to take the positive. What we've said in the past is the days we lose are the days we learn the most, and I think this is what happened. Our car was really difficult at the start of the year. At times, it really seemed that it didn't improve. And I think the learnings that we made, the tough learnings, will help us over many years. The team boss sees that this is more important after losing the title race as he describes the second place at the end of the year as the first loser and finds it isn't very interesting to fight for, comparing to investing in the comprehension of the technical side of the car. The start of the season wasn't really any good, and there is no other way of describing it. If you win the championship in December and four months on, you're not competing with the guys in the front, that's frustrating. Wolf added talking to the team's official channel on YouTube, besides improving the car, they will be focusing on filling their gaps and win some races before the end of the season. So now, it's about trying to understand what it is, and in the second half of the season, hopefully increase our qualifying pace and then be able to race for victories. The Brackley base squad have certainly improved considerably over recent rounds, with the team managing first pole of the season at the Hangara ring and double podium at the last two races. However, looking for a victory or reducing the gap with the two front teams, they still need to race the cause's pace more. That is what Wolf confirmed. I don't want to say now suddenly we are right bang into the game and we can win races because I don't think that's the case. I think we landed it well in Budapest on Saturday and now we are reaping the result in the race. But I don't think we are close enough to Ferrari and Red Bull to really fight them as yet. But lots of learning and it's important to get it wrong up so. Mercedes boss was satisfied saying that his team may finally declare having no more car bouncing. The team's nightmare which was stopping their progress and overshadowing every single upgrade they introduced. Wolf didn't miss the opportunity to praise his team's hard work since the start of the season at a moment that could be described as one of the toughest time for Silver Arrows who have been winning at least one race every year since 2012. Our biggest weakness from the get-go was that our car was bouncing, the famous porpoising, and it meant that it was overshadowing all our development. We couldn't really develop the car aerodynamically and put good updates on, because the more downforce we had on the car, the worse the bouncing was. But I think since Barcelona we have understood better and now going into shutdown. The car has no porpoising anymore, but having said that, we're missing a few months of development and this is really why we are playing catch-up game with the guys in front. However, Mercedes boss sent a warning message to his team drivers, Lewis Hamilton and George Russell, to keep on working and forget about the Budapest score and don't raise the expectation bar concerning the changes brought by the new FIA regulations for the second part of the season because he believes the team is still a bit far from catching their front rivals, especially that Ferrari weren't able to give all what they had in Hungary because of the tire issue, which means they will be giving it all for the coming 
competition. I think we need to be careful. It's not specific to Budapest that we just landed in the perfect window. The other teams, Ferrari especially in qualifying, complained about the tires not being where they should have been. So in my personal opinion, we're still lacking to the front runners. Mercedes could finally see the FIA officially announcing the new regulations for the flexi floors and porpoising. After a real struggle, the teams' manager and boss, Toto Wolff, went through to prove this since the start of the season. After reports talking about Red Bull and Ferrari's cross floor and accusing them of cheating, using a tricky grey area, allowing them to raise the floor's flexibility limit to 6mm instead of 2mm, stated by the Formula 1 governing body, which gave the two teams an advantage on track, especially that Mercedes W13 was struggling with a bouncing issue at that time. Now that the new regulations are here, this weekend's Belgian Grand Prix will be very interesting to see whether Red Bull and Ferrari and other teams have freely took advantage of their floors during the previous races. If they will lose some tenth in their lap time during the Belgian Grand Prix, if this happened, it will confirm the accusation to the concerned teams who push the rules to the limit. But if it won't be the case, Mercedes, which in Hungary could come close to the performance of the two front teams, Mercedes may then receive severe criticism or be accused of using this to make pressure on the FIA for rules changes, hoping to take advantage and come back to the front fight in the middle of the championship. The whole Formula 1 community will be waiting for the competition this weekend to see the real consequences of the new rules. Unlike expected, Wolf believes that this won't give his team a significant advantage and suddenly make them three tenths faster. But he finds it interesting and he will be waiting to see the consequences of this mid-season new rules. It will be very interesting to see what we see at Spa. Let's see if the difference in ride height makes difference for the teams that ride so low. But I no longer believe in the silver bullet, as they say that we will then suddenly be three tenths faster than everyone else, but in any case, it will be interesting. Aside of rules discussion, front teams prepared upgrades for the race at Spa. In case you miss it, Mercedes were the first team to declare car updates one week before the end of the summer break, included in a big package the team started along the season, explaining after many budget cop complaints that they are working according to a studied strategy with financial engineers that follow every modification and every upgrade's decision to manage the technical development of the W13 with respecting the 140 million cap. Ferrari have also worked on their F175 during the break. The Maranello squad had a tough time dealing with reliability issues. The team's boss declared officially that his team staff will be introducing changes, increasing reliability. Ferrari's technical team and engineers are including a new engine hybrid system to the F175 car for the 14th round of the 2021 Formula 1 season at the Belgian Grand Prix. Red Bull on the other side made some changes on the floor to fit the second half of the season's rules. The team have also continued their work and researches to reduce the car weight. Red Bull team also worked on new side pods design. Following the controversy about Aston Martin accused of copying Red Bull side pods current design. Guys, do you think the new regulation will make a significant advantage for Mercedes this weekend? All things will continue at the same rhythm. Leave us a comment down below and invite your friends and Formula 1 fans around you to watch this video. If you're looking for a good Formula 1 content, consider subscribing to our channel. We do our best to provide you with the newest news and updates. And don't forget to tell us who you'll be supporting during the weekend. We are curious to know. That was all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.